thanks for joining us at 1230 today for Live with Leanne Haley. How Trying to wash the pit stains out this time, though, would you? <laughs> Welcome Sorry. to the show. So glad you're with us. Yes, yes, yes. And How you been? I really will have to <laughs> clean the pits oh, of this shirt right. after our experience she was this morning. Sweating like a you know what and you know where. Yes, you do. We went to a haunted um, attraction today. Mm -hmm. You've probably been to it before. Fright Nights out right. at Jacobson Park. It is going on now all month long. We went I'm out telling there. you right now, this woman can make a living as a classic Hollywood screen queen. Yes. The uh, first time someone jumped out at us, I just did my normal. I, and, I, and I was amused the first time she did it. About the 38th time into her screaming at the top of her lungs, I was pretty much fed up. <laughs> I'm easily scarable. Anyone that opens the bathroom door to one of the women's restrooms here, if I'm not expecting you when I'm on my way out, I freak. And everyone's always like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, it's not you. It's me. I know it. Everything scares me. So that haunted attraction this morning. Full-throated, though, the way you do it. It's, <sighs> it's just like they you see in the movies. Yeah. Yeah. That, it's genuine fear. Anyway, so yeah, Fright Nights at Jacobson Park. It is going on now. We went out there this morning, and they were kind enough to bring all their guys out to right. scare the bejesus out of us. You'll catch that story on Live with Lee and Haley coming up soon. Speaking so. of which, so yesterday yeah. I go get my teeth cleaned. Proud I do of you. that three times a year, that which is more than usual, I think. Yeah, I go every six months. When you got the kind of money I got, I don't need to floss. I got people. Right. And um, right. So. Uh, this happened. Yeah. Happened? So uh, my uh, hygienist, Brandy. Brandy. Hey, girl. Love Brandy. Love her. Uh, it was late in the afternoon, so mm -hmm. I fell asleep, and I was awakened by this noise. Ow! I had bitten her. <gasps> you bit her? I bit her. She had her hand in my mouth, and I guess when I when, you, when I sleep, I clamp down if you put your hand in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I apologize, Brandy. I didn't mean to bite you. Lee and I go to the same dental office. When I go yeah. next time, I'm asking for Brandy, and I'm going to say, I am so sorry. But she I says, am so yeah. sorry. Yeah, that's okay? what happened. And, uh, she's, uh, she says that's a common reaction, though. When she's, yeah. she's had other patients fall asleep, that's what they'll do. They'll bite. I fell asleep once when I got a pedicure, and I, the girl got frustrated with her? me. Yeah, because I kept moving. She was like, I had to redo the polish on your right <laughs> foot three times because you kept moving. Yeah. I'm telling you, we fall asleep so easily. You do with this our shift, weird schedule. it just that kind of thing happens. Right. Yeah. Poor Brandy. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Only you. That's right. like, ah! I thought you were gonna say she. You woke up and she had a mask on and was screaming. No, no, no. no. I, I was biting her. <laughs> All right, everybody. Arr. Arr. Let's talk about today's hot topic. Uh, I just realized you and I look like the holidays with our red we and green do. on. Happy holidays, Merry everyone. Christmas. <laughs> Merry Happy Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Yes. Well, well go <gasps> ahead. All righty. Have you seen this video? You've probably seen it on social media. A woman dressed up like a Monopoly Man character photobombed the Senate Banking Committee's hearing on Equifax this week. There's the top hat. <laughs> she sat right behind <laughs> former Equifax CEO, Richard Smith, <laughs> who is testifying about the company's massive security breach. Nonprofit groups, public citizens, and <laughs> <laughs> for financial reform. Say so they organized the appearance. And look at that. All the Equifax people, they notice it. They turn around. That one guy's laughing. I guess he understands. Uh -huh. It's funny. How did this person get this seat right behind That's them? That's fantastic. I love this. This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> the monocle. The monocle yeah. is what makes it so good. Yeah. That's the guy from Monopoly. What's the name of it? It's like Rich Uncle uh -huh. something in the game. Good love for it. her. I love it so much. So anyway, that's been floating around. That gives us mm -hmm. a little bit of joy. Here's another eye-catching thing that's catching a lot of attention, not as in a as a funny way. People are really okay. upset about this. Okay. There's a new billboard in Northern California. It's advertising a clothing store. Mm. Yeah, using Come the image on. of President Trump in a Nazi uniform. Mm. A lot of people calling it offensive. Oh, Trump, you think? Uh, yeah. Trump is the 45th president. The number 45 looks like a swastika. Mm -hmm. When business, you do it like that, yeah. Yep. The business is a clothing store called Rouse and Revolt. According to their Facebook page, they say their way of promoting their business is catching many by surprise. Yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, I, I just don't... There was nobody at the store that was like, maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't diminish the actual suffering of real people who died under an evil regime. You know? Maybe yeah. we shouldn't... That sounds like a good idea. Maybe we shouldn't diminish that, you know, because mm -hmm. that was real lives lost. Mm -mm. Not so much funny. You're making you a political point. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Good... Good job. You're a business, for crying out loud. It's, Would you like to make money or not? Exactly. That's what I think. I'm like, even if there's other people out there that are as, excuse me, stupid as you are and thought this is, customers yeah. that you have that might be like, I love this, compared to the other people that are going to be offended, 
you're not going to make much money off yeah. this. Like, it's just a oh, n- terrible idea. Speaking of stupid, Carolina Panthers quarterback Cam Newton raised some eyebrows following a comment he made to a female reporter on Wednesday. Newton was asked about one of his receivers route running, you know. Newton told the media it was funny to hear a female talk about routes. Listen to it. Yeah, go ahead, play this. Cam, I know you take a, a lot of pride in seeing your receivers play well. Devin Funches has seemed to really embrace the physicality of his routes and, and making getting those extra yards. Does that give you a little bit of an enjoyment to see him kind of truck sticking people out there? It's funny to hear a female talk about routes. Like, it's funny. But uh, fun is coming along, man. We're going we gonna, to. This is the. What's funny thing. about it, Cam? Because of, you know, Do tell, different. my friend. The reporter is with the Charlotte Observer. She posted yeah, it on her yeah. social media after this happened. I saw her tweet yesterday. She said she didn't think it was funny to be a female and talk about routes. It's her job. She's a sports reporter. I, I'm heated over this. I, I mean, I, what? I don't. What defense could he possibly have? Why would you ever say that? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. You know, uh, occasionally I like to pretend to be a misogynist I know pig. you do. Pretend. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Because I, I like to just get a rise out of whoever I'm with. But again, I'm making fun of people like People Cam that Newton. really are like that. I, that's what I'm doing because that's, I don't know. Again, I was trying to think, give him a way out of that, and I can't find one. I it's can't. just that you really are some sort of sexist pig when you talk like that, for crying out loud, yeah. Cam Newton. How, how do you get away with that? Whenever something controversial happens like this, I try to think what could possibly be his defense. And honestly, there's nothing. What could he yeah. possibly say? She's a sports reporter. Her gender doesn't matter. The, he would it never. Shouldn't. Do you think he would have said that if a man had asked that question? Because clearly, it wasn't the talk question. About routes. Yeah, it wasn't the question he had an issue with. It was the fact that a female said it. Right. And, and her if, question was legit. And if he had a problem with her specifically, that's one thing. But yeah. he didn't say her name. He said females. Yeah, I saw a tweet from a former coworker of mine. Um, she was a sports reporter, um, and she tweeted. She said, "I." I don't understand why he would point her out. Half the men in that room have never, you know, played a single down. That's right. It's not like they have well, half the other listen. sports reporters yeah. in there that are, happen to be male. Most sports reporters are not athletic, as we know. Right. If you Occasionally do. you'll get analysis <laughs> from guys, but most of them, you know, they can try to chase a coach down on occasion. <laughs> but they're not that athletic. You know who we're talking about. <laughs> that, oh, uh, and, and Alan's pretty athletic. He you know, is athletic. If you consider hot yoga athletic, you know. Being it's athletic. core work. It's it a lot of core. Work. It's core. Anyway, Camp Newton. Thank you, Cam. You're, n- you're not at the top of our list today. Yeah. We're not fans today. And that's our hot topics. Yes. Hot topics. Can't wait to hear what he does say when he comes out to comment on it.